Nice reflexes. Let me try that again. May I borrow that? You're gone. Uh, yeah, sure. What? I have another one. you uh, you're welcome it is so wonderful to be free of that tomb no longer trapped in my own mind alone you are truly the hero the legends foretold so brave and handsome though Perhaps not in the classical sense. What? Ha! You must have many questions for me. I crossed the entire galaxy because my mom was calling to me, asking me to come find her. Where is she? She is dead. But your mother, Meredith, she is alive in your memory. Yeah, that, uh... That doesn't explain anything. I have been waiting for you all this time. The moment you touched the forge, I knew you were the Celestial One, that you could free me. So I reached out to you the only way I could, through your memories. The ones most vivid to you. But you must understand, I had no control over them. I... Yes, you should be proud of freeing me. I no longer have to stare into the infinite crushing darkness. It was so boring. How could you possibly know how he feels? I can show you, angry lady. Oh, no. Never mind. May I show you? Please, I mean no harm. Do it again! Do it again! Come on! With great pleasure! Oh, this isn't going to go well. What emotion was that? I do not believe I should say out loud. Sexual. You see, I am an empath. I can read the emotions of others. It is my duty to help the Celestial One decide the fate of the Forge. That could really come in handy. <laughs> oh, she's got to meet the rest of the group. Yeah. Introduce an emotionally charged being to a group who are emotionally sensitive. Who should we try on first? I got just the one. Something's supposed to be happening here? This furry little creature is full of anger. Yeah, because Quill's a prick who only cares about but him. beneath that, he is unfathomably sad. Hey! Now he is scared and angry. Hey, cut it out! What is this, Quill? What's the bug lady doing to me? Mantis is an empath, Rocket. She can sense your emotions. She's also the one who made us relive our memories. That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho holla for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? The Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Why? She knows about the Eternity Forge. She says she's connected to it. That's supposed to make me less confused? Oh, I can explain. 
long ago. Wait, wait, wait. Are you going to spew some long mumbo jumbo about where you come from and why I should care? Yes. Is that a problem? Remember Thanos? Well, I, for one, want to hear it. All of it. Then it's time for a nap. Go ahead, Mantis. Enlighten us. Of course, Peter Quill. I have communicated only through my feelings for years. It is nice to communicate with my mouth. <laughs> Eons ago, the Eternity Forge coalesced into existence as a way to balance the life energy of the universe. To create, you must destroy. And to destroy, you must create. But such colossal power cannot be wielded oh, yeah, boy, lightly. Boy, 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 boy. So I was brought in to ensure that the forge was only wielded by someone deserving and to help guide the wielder down the right path. But I waited and waited. Years went by. Many unworthy tried to use the forge. Some even tried to force me to help them. The Kree decided that no culture had matured enough to use the forge with the wisdom required. Eventually, the forge and I were separated Locked away until a time when civilizations could reach the peak of wisdom and maturity. And that is only the beginning. Well, thanks a lot for that, Pete. Hmm. What an interesting and relevant story. Aren't you glad we heard it all, champ? Someday, Quill, I'm gonna blast you out an airlock. I have not yet gotten to the most important part. Kill me. There is a legend of the Celestial One, the Chosen One who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. This Celestial One, what are they like? Advanced intellect, emotionally mature, wise being capable of navigating the dark waters of immense power. Someone who can see beyond his own selfish desires to choose for the greater good. Yeah, I think you got the wrong guy here. I'm just a kid from Earth. It does not matter where you were born. It only matters what you do. You are the Celestial One, Peter. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. If Pete is this Celestial What's-It, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back. But when we tried to use it again on someone else, it didn't do a damn thing. You're lost. I can feel it has been with you for some time. The Forge is... limited right now. It can only restore life to a body that is mostly whole and... undeteriorated. <sighs> I... am Groot. Ah. Well, that explains Hala's delightful corpse collection. She'll bring them all back if she gets the Forge. Fantastic! So it's incredibly useful to our worst enemy, but useless to us. It can be made more useful. How? The Celestial One must deliver the Forge to the Sacred Shrine. There you can unlock its true power, or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone, from any time period, back to the realm of the living. Lost Ones. Loved ones, I suppose hated ones, too, if you were so inclined. Why would I destroy the forge? This thing sounds awesome. <clears throat> Hala! <clears throat> its awesomeness comes with a price. Life energy cannot be made. It must be transferred. So someone still has to die for the thing to work. Let's finish our drinks and go use this thing. Yes! Really? Who are you planning to kill? Well... You're kind of annoying me right Hala now. Hala wants to use this forge to raise her army. We have to destroy Not it. until my family is returned I to me. I am Groot. Right? Groot says he's on my side. That's three to one, Gamora. We win. That is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh, I mean, maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, I can't believe I never thought to ask this question until now, and it's terrifying me. Do you even understand, Groot? Of course I do. I'm sorry, I just don't want that thing destroyed until we use it. It was a one-time thing. I am Groot? Okay, a two-time thing. So, 
It is a tie, then. Two for using it. I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? We can bring back anyone that we lost. Wow. Uh... Okay, this is, uh... <laughs> It's a lot to process here. Kind of heavy on the responsibility, you know? It's... Let me think on it. <laughs> well, one way or another, this all ends at the shrine. Can you take us there, Mantis? I have never been. But with your help, I believe I can sense its location. May we have some space to concentrate? Gladly. If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. And that's new. Ha ha ha. What are you doing? Helping? Hmm. Maybe it is best if you sit still. Right, of course. <sighs> I cannot sense the shrine. There is so much unrest among your crew. Their emotions are overwhelming me. They look to you for guidance. Help them. Drax, how are you doing? I am hopeful the Forge can bring my family back, if you choose to use it. Well, I... So I must trust you would not take away my chance to reunite with my wife and daughter, even though you did not behave in a trustworthy manner. Huh? You used that antenna woman's powers without permission. It was wrong of you to do that. Rocket was clearly angered by what that woman said about his emotions. Come on, it wasn't that bad. Was it? Our feelings are our own. They belong to us alone. I just wanted to get to know everyone better. We're all so secretive. We should... we should open up more. Secrets should be shared willingly, not stolen. Whoa. That was, uh... That was really deep, Drax. Her ability to see into our emotions, it must be difficult. I would not wish to know the pain of others as well as my own. Thank you for checking in on me, Peter. You may leave now. Hey there, Groot. Oh. Is that a friend of yours? I am Groot. I'll tell you this. We're all gonna be okay. No matter what happens with the Forge. I am Groot. Hey, bud. What's up? Well, if it ain't Captain Indecision... What? Are you... I, I don't know what's holding you back from doing the right thing here, Quill. I mean, I, I can count on one paw how many folks ever get a chance to bring back someone they love. I am Groot. And what happens if Hala gets a hold of it, huh? This falls into the wrong hands, the whole galaxy is screwed. The whole galaxy is already screwed. It's always screwed. You think if we destroy this thing, that'll make a difference? Ah, the only ones you're screwing are your so-called friends. Rocket. You know what, Pete? I wish the Forge had never brought you back. Yeah. I am Groot. It should have brought someone else. Anyone else back instead. You don't mean that, Rocket. Now you telling me what I don't mean? Man, the ego on you. I meant every damn word. I am Groot. Have a nice night. Well, that's one way to clear his emotional unrest. I am Groot. Yeah! Uh, 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 
fine. Fine! Hey, are you okay? The hell was that? I tried to say everything I could think of. I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while... Ugh, she won't hear it. Not from me. She'll barely even look at me. So don't give up on her. Family is always worth it. I know, I'm really trying. But I just can't find the right words with her. But maybe, maybe if we had more time, I could try talking to her again when she's calmed down. Give her some space without losing her altogether. Well, they say time heals all wounds. Who's they? I have no idea. Maybe I can get her to hang around. Just maybe not right now. Think she needs some alone time. Um, hey, Nebula. Yeah, uh, hey, it's me, <laughs> Peter Quill. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, but you know that. You mind if I sit? Cool, yeah, this is, uh, this is really... How's the arm? It's not bad. Would have come in handy to have both arms while fighting off the Kree. I suppose I'm lucky you let me out at all. So, thanks, I guess. Oh, man. You were awesome. And you only had one arm. Well, yeah. Nice to know someone appreciates my skills. Gamora never could. Speaking of my dear sister, bet you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space. That I deserve everything I've been through. Gamora says she still cares about you. She sure has a funny way of showing it. Gamora doesn't even realize that she's the reason our family ended. Yeah, well, that's not how it looked to me. What do you mean? When we were in the temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh, yeah? What did you see? She saved your life from that Kree general dude. I mean, he would have killed you if Gamora hadn't stepped in. No, he wouldn't have. You have no idea what really happened that day. And neither does Gamora. Not all of it, at least. Then show me. Now, please take my hand. If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. Is everything all right? What's going on? Thanos wants to talk to you. To me? Nebula, my favorite daughter. Father. Your attacks against your sister were swift, precise. You disarmed Gamora easily. I was impressed. But... I cheated, Father. I didn't win on my own merit. That was not cheating. Gamora made a mistake. You took advantage of that mistake. Something any skilled warrior would do. There is something you must know about Gamora. She said she would not disappoint me. 
but I am not so sure. Every day she grows more agitated and bitter as she watches you surpass her. You've seen her lack of respect. She disobeys me time and time again. I no longer trust her. You shouldn't trust her either, Nebula. Gamora has become a risk to our family. I'll keep an eye on her from now on. Good. That is all I ask. If she continues to be a problem, you might take her place. Stand by my side as my greatest warrior and only daughter. Gamora makes herself more useless, more unreliable with each passing day. Father, I need Gamora. She's my teacher and my sister. You underestimate yourself, Nebula. This mission will prove that. This is your moment. Go and prepare. Keep your communications open. I'll be monitoring the situation. Ah! <laughs> 